Hey there, Abiding fam, and welcome back to my Abiding Journal. My name is Kelsey Lee, and I'm so excited today to one, be back filming a video. It has been a really long time since I have sat down with you all to talk about journaling, and it's also been a long time since I've really spent time journaling, and I actually just did a live stream journaling for the first time after quite a slump so if you want to check that out i'll have it linked down below but today as another way to inspire me to get back into my journal sometimes all you need for a little bit of inspiration is a few new journaling supplies to get you extra excited about journaling again and that is where oh bujo comes in Obujo is an online journaling shop that is my favorite. It's so good, so many amazing supplies, so affordable, really unique vintage style stuff. I just love Obujo. I have two other hauls here on my channel if you want to go and check those ones out to see some of the other supplies that I have received from them. So we're gonna go to my desktop in just a second so that you can see all of these items close up and we'll be able to react to them together. Do let me know in the comments which ones you are most interested in and if you like any of them, I do have their links in the description box and I have a coupon code for Obujo. If you use My Abiding Journal, you will get 10% off. And I do want to note that they have free shipping on orders over $30 and flat rate shipping of $4.99 worldwide. So I personally can't wait any longer and I'm sure you feel the same. So let's sit down at my desk together and look at all of the wonderful journaling stationery I have from Obujo. All right, welcome to my desk. I have my journal here and I have all of my wonderful new journaling supplies here in this box. I can't wait to go through them with you, so we're gonna push this to the side and just start right away with what here is on top, which looks like a pack of beautiful stickers from the Era Teller series. There are 30 pieces in here and it is called European Holiday. I thought that these stickers would be really fun for documenting in a more vintage style as well as documenting some of my reading because I do read a lot of historical fiction and I read a lot of period pieces and have been reading a lot of Jane Austen, for example. So it's mostly women in their beautiful period dresses, all different kinds. Here are a few more examples. I love the woman on her bike. Also some additional pieces like the hand with the quill as well as a letter and pen. Next, I have two packs of scrapbook paper, and these are very unique, and you might recognize them if you saw my other Obujo haul because I got a other version of these, which was a botany theme, and they basically look like old book pages that have been ripped out of their book and pieced together in this collection. They're so, so beautiful, and so I wanted to get two more in other themes. So the first theme that I have is music scores, and let's just take a moment to appreciate the presentation. Obujo never disappoints in the little details in their packaging. I love the twine, so I am going to try to carefully take that off because of course twine is always a nice little addition for our journaling too and so this one like I said is supposed to be music scores and I thought that would be fun for documenting obviously um, music that I might be enjoying but also psalms since I'm studying the psalms right now that could be a really fun way to document some of the psalms that I'm studying and I think that they would be fun as backgrounds especially during like Christmas time. I feel like music scores at the holidays just has a really neat look to it. So these are so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the look of these, these little hymns. And again, on the really vintage looking paper. If you are somebody who really enjoys music or maybe even is a musician yourself, I highly recommend getting this pack to document 
your passion for music in your journaling. The next pack I got is called Reminisce on here, but is called Seasons Online. And so it looks like there is a nice mix of both things that do seem to have more of a reminiscent vibe to them. This one looks like it has a bit of a poem in it and this really cute little illustration. These could be, again, nice for documenting some of the books that I like to read. And then a French Noel, again, really great for Christmas, this December page, so you can see again how it represents seasons. This one is called the Liberty Bell. That would be perfect for documenting going to Philly. I actually haven't, I've been to Philly to visit my friend twice and we've only looked at the Liberty Bell from outside. So eventually I would like to actually go in and look at the Liberty Bell up close. And that would be a perfect piece to use to document that. This again is a Christmas focused page. This one is April. Ooh, that's so gorgeous. I definitely want to remember to use this next April. St. Nicholas. So it does seem like this is an especially good pack for winter. And there's one for November as well. But super pretty. I just love how these look. And of course you can tear these up and use them for different times of year as well. Just as part of a background effect. You don't have to use them at face value. This is a pack of beautiful book spines. I am so excited <laughs> to use these in my journal. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're all different ones. I don't even know if I would potentially recognize some of the titles or if they're mostly not titles that are super recognizable. Regardless, they are absolutely stunning and they are stickers. They're vellum stickers again, so they're gonna just melt into the page. And these are gonna be so, so beautiful for documenting reading. Next up, I have a little pack of stickers again. These ones look like little pieces of books and some of them are from dictionaries. Some of them look like they're from recipes or novels, so it's really a mix, but I think these would be great for junk journaling and layering, but also depending on what the words are, they might be really good for specific pages. So as you can see, it's just a mix of different types of prose and words, and they will be so much fun to use for layering and just in journaling in general. They're really, really pretty. Next, I have this gorgeous little pack of vellum papers. The patterns on these are so beautiful. They are all florals and there are multiples of each one. And as you can see, it does have a translucent quality since it is vellum. So these are really great for layering. They have such a beautiful effect and different texture to your page. This one, because the pattern is less busy, could be really nice to actually write over and do some of your journaling on vellum while having maybe a photo under it. So these are so gorgeous. And I do believe that these were in the dollar shop on Obujo. So Obujo has a really great dollar shop if you are on a budget where everything is as it says, a dollar. This next item looks like a teeny little book and you might be able to read that it is Emily Dickinson themed. So I was really excited about this one for using some of Emily Dickinson's poetry in my journaling. So when you take the little box cover off, it has Emily Dickinson poetry collection, 1830 to 1886. And I'm a little obsessed with this one, I have to say. I would have to look up to make sure that the language is correct on here in terms of the English because I'd be concerned if it was translated to Japanese and then back to English because sometimes with Japanese stationery, the English is broken and doesn't necessarily always make a lot of sense. So I would have to double check that the poetry is exactly as she actually wrote it but how beautiful are these 
little quotes from her poetry. I mean, the look of these are just gorgeous. While we're on the topic of famous writers, they also have these collections of celebrity bookcases. And okay, first of all, we love the push box, so fun. And for this one, I got two from the very famous Jane Austen. So these books are literally collections of quotes from two of her most famous works, Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, which I literally just finished reading, which is why I'm so excited about this. And it literally is just a collection of lines and quotes from the books and really captures the wit and humor of Jane Austen. For example, this one reads, she could not be silent when such points were introduced and she had neither shyness nor reserve in their discussion. These are absolutely perfect if you are a Jane Austen fan. And like I said, they had a few other authors and books in their celebrity collections as well. By the way, I'm using these beautiful avian scissors that I also got from Obujo to open most of the packaging. These I got in my first ever haul and I absolutely adore them. This little box is so stunning just on its own and inside we have some beautiful washi stickers with gold foiling on them so hello oh my goodness these are so so pretty ah uh, oh my gosh so this is a mushroom themed collection but they had other ones as well in this same style of collection of washi stickers with gold foiling i just think mushrooms are so fun and so pretty in journaling and especially for journaling about the fall or the spring. They are just so pretty and great for layering. This one might be my favorite. The foiling is so, so gorgeous on it. And as you can see, there are all different ones in all different shapes and sizes. Some have the postage stamp edge to them. Some are full cutouts and others are square or rectangular. This cough syrup one is kind of fun. I think that would be really fun to use on a page where you're a little under the weather. I also got this gorgeous large collection of washi stickers in a botanical selection. So this features different florals and a few mushrooms as well. And there are also 60 pieces in this collection. So tons and tons of flowers with repeats. So if there is one that you really like, you can have multiples to use in your journaling. I love the colors in this collection. Again, I think this one would be really, really good for fall or spring. This one actually looks a lot like my rose bushes that are currently in bloom. So that would be great to document those. And yes, so, so gorgeous. And once again, these are the washi stickers. So they literally look like they were painted into your journal when you put them on. All right, we're getting down to the bottom of the box. I have just a few more supplies to share with you. First one is da, 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 a glue stick. So I am definitely somebody who tends to be more of a tape runner person when it comes to adhesive, but I thought I would get my hand on a really nice glue stick. And this one is supposed to, throwing it. This one is called glue, <laughs> OO, and is supposed to be extra strength. And it is in the shape of a square and it has a little turn thing to put it up and down to use your glue. So I will report back on how extra strength this is and if I like it even more than my tape runner. Next, I have two types of post-its. This first one was also, I believe, in the dollar shop. And I just thought these ones were pretty. It kind of looks like it could be snow or a beach scene with the birds flying. So I feel like I could use this as a place to do journaling on different spreads very easily, or of course I can just use them as an average post-it. And then these ones I'm really excited about because 
although they look very unassuming and just like white post-its, these post-its are actually transparent. So they look like they have the sticky part on a good third of it to hold it down. And then they are more of a plasticky feel. So it will be interesting trying to find the right pen to be able to write on these but I love the idea of a transparent sticky note to do my journaling, especially if I wanna write it over other elements on the page and have it stand out. And these are also really, really nice for Bible journaling when putting notes into your Bible. So that was one of the other reasons I wanted to try out these transparent sticky notes. And so we have my final three items. The first one I wanna share with you is a pack of stamps. You can probably tell from the cover that this is a pack of stamps that are the months of the year. So naturally a really great collection to have for doing your journaling. These would be wonderful, especially if you're working in a smaller journal to do for monthly review pages. You can do one for every single month and then just do your journaling around it. But of course they work for planning and just writing down the dates on a daily page as well. So I'm excited to use these. They're a really nice wood stamp. You can see the bottom is a white rubber, so it stands out and you can use them with any ink pad that you might have. So I'm excited to see how these work. I think they're a really nice size and I can't wait to use them. Finally, washi tape. I got another gorgeous washi that is in the postage stamp style. I got this same style of washi in a few other different patterns in previous Obujo hauls and so this time I got one that is focused on botanicals because botanicals are always beautiful in journaling. They're always a little bit difficult to rip off at first but there it seems like it's working okay. So you can see I messed it up a little bit on the edge here, but once it gets going, it should be fine. And what I love about this style is the fact that it has these perforations. So you can either use it in a full strip for the washi, or you can rip it at the perforations and then use it as essentially a sticker that looks like a postage stamp. How gorgeous is that? So there's lots of beautiful patterns in this roll of different florals and definitely has a pretty vintage vibe to those florals. And then speaking of vintage vibes, my last item is a set of washi tape in beautiful vintage style colors. So here they all are. I'm not gonna unroll them all for you, but you can see that there's some really beautiful muted earthy tones, some browns and blues and sort of mauve purples and greens. So pretty. And then these two slightly bigger washies in a grid pattern. And then there is one that has kind of a newspaper reel style to it. So I thought that was a really pretty pack that will be super versatile to use in my journaling. So that is everything that I got from Obujo. I really hope that you enjoyed that haul. And if you did, do give the video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite item from this haul? Which would you be most likely to use in your own journaling? And if you plan on placing an order, I would love to know what you plan on getting from Obujo. Do make sure to use my discount code and thank you for using my affiliate links in the description. It really helps my channel. I can't wait to use these supplies in future journaling and to share that journaling with you. So I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. If you want to see all of the other items that I have gotten from Obujo and some other great journaling shops, definitely check out my journaling supplies playlist or you can watch my most recent recent video and until next time keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith hope and love